Live from the edge of Austin, where Blimps and Andrew Heaton welcome Colin Powell to my old haunted house. It's going to be a great night. Now, get inside a man from Mars and be prepared to spit some bars because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Thank you. Vista Retirement Communities of America. Let's do it! My name is Brian Brushwood. My name is Doug. <laughs> Let's hear it for my BFB. That's my barefoot boy. Yeah. All right, all right. We've all been there, right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you're sitting there. You're trying to get some kids to paint your fence for you. That's right. But they won't do it. But you're on a boat. And you've got a friend in me. Yeah. Hey. All right. You know what? We wrote a song about this one. This is your boy, Brian Brushwood and Doug. <laughs> well, we write, we're the Barefoot Boys. Yep. All right. Let's sing this song. Here we go. Yep. We're the Barefoot, barefoot boys. boys. And we make barefoot noise. <laughs> and every so often we have a choice. But that choice is wicked. <laughs> and very sinister. <laughs> we killed a drifter and he haunts us now. Now! Haunts us, us now! now. Uh, be... You're chased by a drifter. <laughs> yeah. A spectral shapeshifter. Spectral. And now he's coming for, for your 401 K. K. Where's my K? <laughs> but there's a, a remedy. Remedy. To shoot him in the head of me. <laughs> but with a ghost gun I found in the dirt. Dirt. Thank you, Pablo. This goes out to Pablo. Mwah, he's up there in Gardner Heaven. Hi, Brian. <laughs> hey, Justin. Uh, Bryce, that was very good. Uh, seconds before we went live, I just, I just texted Bryce, get ready for some Margaritaville shit. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 I picked up on why Bryce just looked at his watch and then said disappointingly, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why. Oh. <laughs> now I know why that happened. Well, I mean, you got to pay the bills, right? Sometimes you sometimes you, you got to pay by, the margarita by, by, bills by, by, by <laughs> Diamond Vista Corporation to do a tour of retirement communities. We decided right before the show that we were going to go barefoot, yep. uh, mostly because we are desperate to have WikiFeet profiles, but. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, then Brian wanted to up the ante. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, I'm, I thought to myself, why are we barefoot? That's a and, great and, question. And, and you so, had you had a really good answer with Tom Sawyer. Yes. But, but, well, no, because you wanted to high roll the jeans or uh, high roll the pants. Yep. Yep. And then I took it as like, oh wait, uh, uh, we're being should, lovable. Scams. No, should we should we go capris? Like, should we pull it up even even further? And then I, I realized I was just trying to be extra. I mean, if you want to get that sweet tan line, you need a capri sun. <laughs> Bryce, what's our first topic? Oh, I was, I was, He's never ready. <laughs> I was distracted by the feet, I guess. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, it's been zero days since Bryce was ready for the topic cues. <laughs> Timing. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Justin is actually <laughs> Is there a doctor in the oh audience? My god. Oh my god, you fucked up so bad. <laughs> hey Justin. Uh, I got. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, give me two seconds. Okay, all right. Oh. 
Uh, this refresher Christ. rebreather brought to you by the refresher rebreathers of the CPR company. Uh, <laughs> the CPR proud company. sponsor of Di Diamond, Vi Diamond Vista, Vista Retirement, Retirement Communities. Yeah. Go Diamond Tigers. Retire <laughs> 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 All right. You have a story. Oh, oh, no, I do. Yeah, I have yes, two stories. You have a story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, one happened uh, three hours ago, and it was a, 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 a strange echo of what happened last night. Um, um, today, I was in the kitchen, and um, uh, I, I, it's kind of a visual bit, but really just for you, right? So, uh, 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 Josie is in the kitchen, and she... Your, your, your middle daughter. That's right. Uh, she, she loves to do these kind of, like, overly intense stares, and then oftentimes... She breaks the tension with, with you know, a Josie dance, which we learned. Yes. Right? But in this case, she gives me an intense stare, and then she starts walking towards me. And I'm like, I'm like I got a lot going on. I'm not going to worry about it. So I turn around, and I open the fridge, and all of a sudden, she grabbed my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, what? Pardon? Uh, turn around. It was Pippi, who, who was just up there patting my butt. The butt. dog. Yes, yes. So it wasn't Josie at all. All right. Gotcha. New story. Previous. That's that. the end of the first story. <laughs> it was an echo. Okay. That's echo. Like, yeah, yeah, we're doing. We have, yeah. They, they like couple. A, yeah, they, they rhyme. They rhyme. <laughs> they rhyme. Every frame. So, so much. <laughs> I call it a, a diptych. So, uh, uh, last night, we had a, a bit of a surprise uh, thunderstorm. Yes. Uh, uh, did you enjoy it? Indeed. It was great, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I uh, was forbidden to drive home until I had inflated the car tires on my Jeep. Uh, and so I'm, I'm out there inflating the car tires. It's very slow. And then a, a, a wave of rain comes in, and I'm thinking to myself, man, is it possible I'm going to get struck by lightning while I'm inflating these tires? So I walk over to the soundstage, and it's like, whew, that's, a, that's another flicker, flicker, flicker. flicker. And then uh, and I'm, all I'm thinking about is getting struck by lightning and timing. Uh, I get to the periphery of the motion detector of the soundstage at the exact moment an astonishingly big thunderclap and flicker happens. So it goes flicker, 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 clap! At the exact moment, the lights turn on and stay on. And for exactly two-thirds of a second, I actually thought I was being struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> That's All right, the, you know, no, no, hold on, no, no, I have questions. That, I have questions. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Did you get hard? <laughs> um, I. Because I would think, before you answer, I would think if it was like Frankenstein rules, in Frankenstein rules, if you get, or you're in a cartoon, you get shocked, like everything, like all of a sudden, like everything is extended. I would assume, and normally you're in big silhouettes, so you don't see it. That dick could be as hard as possible and you wouldn't see it if it were in profile you would see a gigantic dick presuming that that donald duck had a gigantic dick or frankenstein but like <laughs> whichever one <laughs> whichever one gets electrocuted these are both people who famously get electrocuted yeah, they both famously get mad well sure <laughs> do you, wait do you get hard when you get mad what are you a cop <laughs> i get like I, are you like you're like ah oh, these fucking taxes <laughs> Big boner, big yeah. rubbery one. Uh, uh, no, you're uh, just fucking knocking, knocking no. your mugs off your desk. A big like. rubbery? Why would it be a big rubbery one? You never look at a hard dick and be like, "Well, it's kind of like rubber." Uh, uh, it bounces funny. I, 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 like if you flick it. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow, we're <laughs> layers. Um, I, 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 back to the uh, lightning. Did you get hard thinking I, that you on, got electrocuted? There's a rich vein in your hard rubbery yeah. dick, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I did have the thought that it's like I, I laughed thinking like I hope if I get struck by lightning, everybody knows I died thinking this shit was hilarious. Like that is quite literally please so put you that on my laughing tombstone. laughing as hard as possible yes and and that's part of the reason i'm telling that this seems story like a more right now. natural reaction than brett's cool guy bullshit with the fucking you ghost upstairs you know yeah. what justin fuck you that happened i'm just saying i'm not saying it didn't happen i'm saying it was cool guy what bullshit. didn't happen is i did not get struck by lightning well, he didn't see a ghost either, but, but I, like, oh, he did. But I just get hard when I saw when I heard the ghost. <laughs> okay, did question. You? Uh, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much money would it take uh -huh. for a real spiritualist to say, "Listen, there's definitely a ghost in that bed. I need you to fuck it." How much money? Wait, are you? They already you, did that in Ghostbusters. Yeah, wait, wait. For someone to then go and fuck it, no, or for you? 
to go and whether you believe it's there or not. How much would the spiritualist have to pay me? Yes. At which point you don't give a fuck if there's a camera, you don't care if there's an audience, you don't care if there's an actual ghost. So you're gonna, wait, you're gonna. Those things are too so much wait a minute. Though. So, so the spiritualist is a reverse ghost pimp. And by the way, hold on. <laughs> yeah. wait, actual no, ghost no, pimp. A ghost reverse wait. pimp. Yes, correct. Because yeah, he's, they're he's a you. ghost reverse yes. pimp yes. because yes. he actually has believes he has ghosts. Yes. but he's a reverse pimp in that you do not pay him. <laughs> yes. so you can have sex. He is paying, he's paying others. You right. He and, is. He is. He is a ghost fucking stimulus he, say, he says i have three offers my first is <laughs> sounds you're... like a joke <laughs> no my first is <laughs> spiritualist walks into a bar <laughs> he's a divorcee I says mister i have a three <laughs> whoa 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 <laughs> that's uh that's a bit on the nose <laughs> wait what'd you think what uh, nose that's that what, the... <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the shape of the nose and how big was it <laughs> oh god damn it <laughs> okay all right. What? Eventually, <laughs> imagine I keep making offers, but but he wants to play Margaritaville on a guitar while you pretend to fight, or possibly actually are fucking your ghost. How much money? Oh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> how much you got uh, on you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bryce. Next topic. <laughs> Dickhead Coffee Part Three. Oh, this looks interesting. What's this about? <sighs> This fucking doesn't end. What do you mean? It doesn't end, Brian. I mean, it ends the Brian when you experience doesn't end, and it's now a thing where he has a new venue to perform. I've been a while since Brian Brushwood has been on the road uh, and performing at colleges and venues and theaters throughout the nation, and so he needs a new venue, and he's found one, and it's called the To Go Speaker. At Summer Moon Coffee on 290. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> because I go after we, we go out for lunch on Mondays. Yep. Uh, we talk about the, the week that was, the week that's going to be. It's a, good, it's a good time for us to catch up business-wise and personal. And so then on the way back, I like to have a little coffee. We've had a beer. We've had some food. I like to have a little coffee as we head into the uh, Weird Things podcast that we do. Yeah. Brian, as people have heard, have uh, has decided that this is now his performance. No. Because he likes to do a bit. When I say, hey, do you want anything? He likes to ask for something asinine because he knows that now I'm a pussy if I don't actually ask the people at Summer Moon for the asinine thing that he's asked for. The, well, give, give us an example of things you've asked for. I mean, wait, 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 wait. okay. So, so, so <laughs> you can only have so much tea, Earl Grey hot, and then you're like, this is too hot. So you start asking for a little shot of cold water in your tea, Earl Grey hot, so it's a little bit less hot. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, I don't even want the tea. Give me a hot chocolate, and you get the hot chocolate. And then eventually it's like, you know, I just want a water. Give me a hot water, but not too hot. So take a hot water, put some cold water in it, right? And then, uh, and then you give Justin a couple weeks off, and then he makes a mistake of asking if you want anything again. Yeah. Uh, and, and then you say, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Three ice cubes in the first cup. Okay, so this is what oh happens my God. this Monday. <laughs> Jesus. This Monday. So, you know, it's gone. Like he mentioned before, the, the, the first bullshit that he did was one uh, half cup of hot water and then another half cup of ice cold water yeah. in one cup, yeah. which at least for these kids. And by the way, every, the, every person who works at this summer moon is 14 and from Bible study. Yep. Right. They, they all look like they should be in the Christian version of, of a high school musical. Uh, by they, the way, they are, we, they are, we, we are leaving out an important part because the whole reason I started this bit is because we were driving, you're, and you're like, man, the thing about this place is they always give you their, they, they do exceptional customer service, they do incredible yes. coffee, but then they hand it to you, and then they say, would you like to give a $1 tip? At which point, uh, the next because, time we went they in. Do, they, they're all card, so they don't do any cash, although they do cash for fucking tips. Right. So the very first time I started fucking with you was we pull up, and I, and I just lean over you, and I say, here's $5. He hates to tip. And then, uh, uh, and then that's when it began. So that's when it began. So then you had the, the, the half and half hot water and cold Co water. Correct, correct. Which, and by the way, is just the fucking water. Right. Uh, and then this was and your now, latest, your latest, mwah, 
bullshit fucking masterpiece. Yeah, because the place where I go every fucking Monday, I'm the only one who needs something from these fucking teens. You're the one who wants to ruin it. What did you ask for? Uh, I asked for a, a, a cup with three ice cubes, another cup with on top of it with three ice cubes, and a third cup with three ice cubes on it. And and uh, 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 they got paid handsomely for it by you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you send Bryce the picture? Uh, oh, I don't know if I did. It looks no. exactly like I described. Yes. I'm gonna bet it's like three <laughs> just so cups everybody, of ice. Just so everybody knows that this that this thing actually fucking happened. I mean, you you realize like next week it's gonna be three feet of your receipt paper. <laughs> it's going it's going to be it's going to be a uh, a uh, uh, a wish that you write down and never tell anyone. And 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 I'll increasingly like it's gonna be where it's like. It's money. Hey, the jackpot boys are back. <laughs> like a, yeah, he's gonna ask for something crazy, and then we'll get twenty whole dollars. That's what happened. Yeah. Is that or, or is that I, I I just gave them twenty dollars because oh. they had to, like they were so yes. confused. I, I kept they, trying they, to explain <laughs> it at the fucking speaker, <laughs> and he's like, "So is it? Is it a a tea with ice cube? No, it's just a cup." <laughs> And then there's three ice cubes, and then you take so, another no, cup, no. and you put three ice cubes. But, you put that cup in that cup, and then you take yet another cup. You put, and then he's like, "So is is it a coffee?" I'm like, "I'm just gonna pull up. Just get me my and coffee, this, and, this, and I will explain it to you at the window." And then of course they're all there, and it's it's as if somebody fingered the other one. They're all so as, lit a buzz. Oh, as, oh, and, so 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 as we're driving up. I pull out my phone, and as they're talking to Justin, uh, they begin to like, so sorry, what's going on? And Justin begins to explain, it's like, he's a dickhead, he's this, and, and I have my phone up, I'm like, oh, he's real. Yo, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. they're getting uh, it, he, wants, he doesn't even end, he doesn't even own it. He doesn't even own it. He's like, he's like, yeah, they're getting your crazy drink. Yeah, no, there's three in each cup. Yeah, okay, all right, we're good, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, they're, they're I, I think, uh, uh, delighted by the fact that they get to do something they, they get interesting. Money. Yeah. And then I just hand them $20 because I'm the only one who actually Ooh. wants shit from them. Hold on, next time. <laughs> I don't know. There, there's no next time. Uh, enough. Uh, enough with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I swear I'm, I'm, to God, Brian. I swear to God. I'm going to start offering a bargain. <laughs> oh, God. Bryce, next topic. God, God next it. topic. <laughs> Fucky feedback. I feel like we need a third mic on this one. For uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Corey. Oh, God oh, it. oh, yeah. Corey Cranfield. Corey, yay! Let's stand over on this side. Yeah. <laughs> Cor Corey, hit yourself in the face with the mic, please. Thank you. All right. Okay. So uh, this weekend, I don't, the, I don't uh, sanction any of this. I think you did a fantastic job. The first. I think you did great. Whatever he says, I don't support. <laughs> The first uh, uh, Brian Summit. What, what, what are we calling it? What, what is it? The uh, we have a secret name, but we'll, we'll call it Brianology. Uh, Brian Bryantology. Uh, uh, That's not the secret name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, everything went on a scale of one to ten. Uh, ten. Ten, ten. 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 Great. I would agree. I was there. We for... made a baby. Yep. It's great. I, uh, I was I was there for a while. By the way, uh, uh, where should they go if people want to sign up? Uh, just go to uh, just go to scamstuff.com and type in the word class. That's right. Searching for it, you'll find it. Uh, the next one is going to be in late August. Uh, it really is like like no holds barred. Uh, just everything I know. Tw Twenty five years of being an independent creator uh, and somehow surviving doing it. I, I did not see this, but I was told that not person but persons. Were like so affected by what you were saying about like how they could affect their business that there were literal tears. Yep. Were literal tears. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. So I know Brian. I know how much this is meant to him. I know how much this material is is something that is important to him. I watch him crush it uh, in, in the time that I'm there. I hear this other like stuff that people are fucking crying Very during impactful. it. Very impactful. Amazing. Amazing weekend. Everybody has a great time. Big picture. Then I come in on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I come in on Monday. I'm going to stand over here. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 no, no, I'm with no, you. I'm with no, you. no, no, no. I, I, I've got you. I called to the stand Brian Brushwood. Yes, you're Brian. on. Brian. Yep, yep. 
You asked everybody to fill out feedback. Feedback's very important with these kind of things. I, I, I Social proof. If, 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 you have, if you have gotten anything of value, the thing that would mean the most to me is if you would give me a quote, that would be very delightful. You have my email. So you open some of these feedbacks, and what do they say? Yeah, what, uh, do, they, what do they say, Brian? Well, uh, 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 the first one, I get as far as reading the words uh, three out of five, and then I close it. <laughs> oh. Pause here. Pause here. Uh, Brian has talked more about business development and creativity uh, uh, and his philosophies about that by far more than magic by far more than comedy by far more than touring and i would say if i really had to quantify it minute by minute between that and his children it's closer than i'd really want to do the real mat yep like so, so th that is, he's finally out here. He is stepping. He's crossed the threshold. The first one he opens up, three out of five. Brian? Uh, yep. Uh, uh, and I open it later, and, and it says, uh, first I, I, can, I can read it now. No, I don't want to hear it. Oh, uh, because, got it right uh, here. Just uh, 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 burn your phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it says really nice yeah. things. They clarify the three out of five. No, no, no. Let, let, him, let him go. Let him go. Uh, mm, I remember it verbatim. <laughs> Three out of five. First off, in all sincerity, Corey really did a great job. <laughs> wow. That's probably the three. Yes. Um, I have thoughts about Brian. Um, it was self-indulgent and awful, and I do not approve. <laughs> so if you were to have a nightmare mm. about the feedback that you would have after decades of working on this particular piece of art mm. would it be any different than what you just read except for the fact that Corey was somebody you didn't know while developing this uh that would be the nightmare <laughs> okay but then guess what what i got another email <laughs> what oh, oh. another email <clears throat> um <clears throat> uh hey gang you asked for a quote uh let me just say everybody Corey, other people were mostly very professional. Oh. That's all I read. Uh, and then it, it was around this time I realized, motherfucking Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Decided that would be a hilarious fucking time. Oh. It's, it's like the time, you know, my, ba uh, uh, my, 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 my wife uh, was in labor for 18 hours. Yeah. And I thought it'd be hilarious to be like, oh, you know it'd be hilarious? Uh, let me take my middle finger and just poke her gooch. <laughs> That's a hilarious time to do that after she'd you make know. a hell of a face. Uh, <laughs> she she would. Would. I would be dead. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, and so I eventually read the letters, and they go on to say nice things um, after they've made an indelible impression in my brain that I'll never recover from. Mm -hmm. uh, and I say to uh, Corey, I was like, uh, "So uh, was uh, was this a bit?" <laughs> and uh, Corey very helpfully says. It was not. Okay, let's let's switch over to Corey here now. Yes. Uh, uh, for folks... Uh, that was uh, very nice of them, by who, the way. Who, who, nice who don't know. You should not talk. Uh, <laughs> Fair. Fair. Uh, uh, Corey, being the major domo here throughout all of the Seven Acre Schwood and, and being the man who ran the logistics for mm -hmm. this entire event, did a fantastic made, job. It, it, legitimately, I mean, that's the problem, is that it's well-earned praise, part, which is why everybody part of will that, be part of that, artificially uh, made to clap for him right now. Part of part of that thing. No, <laughs> wow, that was, that was more artificial <laughs> than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> part of uh, that was ferrying folks who were, were from out of town yep. Yep. from their hotels. Uh -huh to the property Correct. and back and forth yep. and back and forth yep. and so i would imagine mm -hmm. that when you were on one of those final trips after yep. everybody is in the afterglow of an amazing 48 hours that there were some conversations yes were there absolutely and what were those conversations well first i want to say that this definitely looks like something i would do uh, this looks <laughs> Looks exactly hey, like. Uh, uh, can we? Can we? Uh, 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 Annalisa, can you just zoom in on his smile right now? I, like, I just want everybody to know <laughs> that, like, yes, of course, it's a thing he would, would do be, because he looks like he's the cat that swallowed the canary yeah, right? right now, just thinking about it. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> he I, can't help but laugh. <laughs> he can't fucking help but laugh. <laughs> he is a sick, sadistic son of a bitch. Let's I need continue. to explain. So. They, and, and by the way, for, for the record, yes. uh, uh, this was not your doing. Uh, no. Whoa, okay. whoa, 
Whoa. Let him go. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. So we're we cross-examining here. We're talking about feet. Don't jump in and say, he clearly didn't do it. You'd be kicked off the dream team. I, 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 mean, I, I just want the record to reflect that his... Uh, no. I'm trying, Corey. Uh, yeah, I appreciate record. it. No record. I appreciate all right, all right. it. All right. So we were talking about feedback, providing feedback, and one of the guys had a brilliant idea of like, hey, maybe we should just tell everybody that Corey did awesome. Mm. And I was like... And you, but you didn't hear this, right? Oh, I heard it. And you oh. said, but you said, hey, we should so, do that. Like, that's so not it, wasn't, it wasn't whispered. Like, well, and, and, no, 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 no. They were well, saying no, 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 it out loud but, as if they were looking for your validation. I, I okay, definitely, all right, hold on. And, oh, sh- as your attorney, um, um, uh, but it's, when, are, it's, when are you his attorney? I'm defending you. It's 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 not like you knew how sensitive I was, right? Uh, no. It's, it's not like that at all. <laughs> Objection. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You're his lawyer, aren't no. you his lawyer? No, no, I've turned on him. I'm now <laughs> on the prosecution. <laughs> they, they had a, a brilliant idea. Brilliant. Brilliant. Wow. Brilliant. A brilliant idea. Oh, I told regular him, fucking uh, fan of Galileo's, we, huh? We had some good jokes Sir in the car. Sir Isaac, fuck news. <clears throat> All right, no, no, I, I want to hear we had, we, had, we, had, we were discussing it. That, that'd be real. That'd be real. That's th- This is them talking. That'd be real funny. We do uh-huh. tell, up, tell how awesome Corey is. Stone silent. Yeah, but with the smile. Like I gotta an be old, honest. Like we an had, old we, weeping willow. <laughs> just, <laughs> just no <laughs> reaction. Yeah. So we'd be like, yeah, man, that'd be funny. And then that was, then we everybody hopped out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so was, it, was there now, any now the, was there the, any moment was there any moment in your brain where you thought, you know, it's a very funny idea here in this van. <laughs> Maybe I should make sure that we all laugh really hard in this van, <laughs> and we say out loud what our reviews would have been if we did it and and that would be who would all find it funny yeah. and that could be that did that cross your mind that sounds like a great idea that didn't happen oh uh now in Corey's defense yeah. <laughs> you're back <laughs> yeah, i heard you back i mean i mean the, I, in all honesty the exact same reason i was so <laughs> vulnerable yeah after giving birth uh uh-huh. was probably the same level of exhaustion, if not more, that Corey had, where he's right. just like, yeah, fucking poke him in the gooch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, and, and I don't be, care how long he was be, in labor. I gotta be very honest. Uh, I survive off of uh, light suffering in other people. Light. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's like, Fake suffering because sure, like is fake. It, is it fake. like fraudulent I mean, is he like suffering. I mean, they, they, wrote, suffering. they wrote one sentence of like, "Hey, Corey was awesome." Ha ha ha. Anyways, and then they wrote like paragraphs about what Brian. Instead, did. they're doing fucking deep lore about how I believe somebody <laughs> said somebody showed baby pictures of himself with a spiky haircut. <laughs> yeah. So D- was, did he? Wait, hold on. Did we, uh, did fuck he? you. Oh, fuck oh, all oh, of you. Oh, okay. uh, Maybe I did. Uh, well, Bryce. yeah. Yeah. No, he did. Right. Oh, All right. No, All Rich. right. Okay. Rich, Rich. <laughs> Corey, if this were to happen again, how would you react in that van? Because, uh, and let me, and let oh, me no. say, uh, you, let, you, let, you let, realize you've set me up even worse. No, now. no, 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 no. Let, let, me, let, let me, let me say this. I do know that there is something damaged within Corey no, that deeply. needs the I pain mean, of others so he deeply. can there's so a he reason. can move by. That is the oil for which moves his there's gears There's a reason as the three of us being. have come together. <laughs> I mean, there's something broken. Also, all he's going to do next time is fucking say, you know, a friend of mine uh, gave me this address. It's a spam bot net. Maybe use that. And it'll <laughs> auto-generate AI, individually personalized insults for Brian. Mm-hmm. And how will you feel then? Uh... Lonely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Granville. Uh, having said that, uh, 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 once, once, you, once I made it to the second half, of, they were all nice. Every, everybody seemed to have a really good special Sure. Time. Yeah. <sighs> Be earnest in the reviews. Uh, <laughs> next topic. Corey Brutal. President Throat. <laughs> what the? All right. Oh, I don't even know. All right. So fucking I work. In all day, because I want to do this episode about how we got to where we are with our modern world on the Roe vs. Wade so, stuff. So it's like a deep dive with thoughtful commentary. And like the whole dog and pony show fucking like, you know, a production element to it. And I'm yeah. trying mm. to fucking do I'm, I'm come in with witty insights. And, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm researching. I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all on LexisNexis last night looking up old contemporary articles and stuff. Uh, uh, and it's going to be great. All of a sudden in the middle, 
I'm going to release it tomorrow uh, or today when you're hearing this. And then uh, in the middle, I get on Twitter and everybody's like, ah, this, this lady's on the January 6th hearing. This lady's on the January 6th hearing. And I'm like, okay, because I follow a lot yeah. of people that freak out about a lot of stuff. I'm going to, let me go ahead and look into this. Now, at, th at this point, you put a lot of effort into the story. You're excited for the respect that you're going to garner with your deep, Inside. Well, I would just like to get it out. I mean, like, I, I've, I've set a goal to yeah. have it be done. Like, I have a deadline. I want to work toward I'm, that I'm, deadline. I'm trying to think of what would cause you, to, what would stop you from releasing this. Well, I'm glad you asked because I keep reading and I keep watching these clips. And it's this lady who used to be an, a legislative assistant for the chief of staff of Donald Trump. Uh, in the waning days of his presidency after he'd lost the election. And she's got all these crazy claims about like, oh, he he wanted people with guns to come in and watch him speak and then directed them to the Capitol. And then this other one where he he uh, tried to commandeer the SUV uh, leading from his speech to the, the White House because he wanted to go to the Capitol. And then he attacked a man in his clavicle, which I'd never heard described before. And when... The lady's doing the thing for the clavicle. She makes the the, the Wu Tang like <laughs> logo. All right, like, now, like as you're seeing all this, I I have to imagine you're like, oh, whatever this is, it's all noise. My story's the real story. I'm gonna release it tomorrow. It'll be great. And then the more of this you see, I have to feel like you're, you're it's 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 you're, you're like that. Like, I'm like I'm like now I have less time to do an episode about this thing because if i release this this other thing that i care about now no one's going to give a fuck they're all going to be like why aren't you talking about the clavicle okay so everybody's on clavicle time it's, it's right now it's getting crazier and crazier but you're sticking to your guns you've got quality content and you know it right you're going to stick to the original episode what could stop you and then she tells the story <laughs> about when donald trump heard that his attorney general, Bill Barr, had given an interview to the Associated Press in which he said that there was no widespread proof of voter fraud. And so Donald Trump, according to this lady, threw his plate against the wall <laughs> and it shattered. And she knew it, he had thrown his lunch because she had to help the valet whoa, 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 wipe whoa, whoa, whoa. catch up off the wall. All right, all right. I know you're right on the edge. I know you're right on the edge. You gotta, st you gotta stick to the path, my friend. You're a political commenter. You have good political commentary. You don't need to be distracted by the sensationalist stuff. It's not like anything more impressive is coming up next. Then they ask her, Liz Cheney, <laughs> steely-eyed, asks her, is this the only time... <laughs> You've heard of this kind of behavior? And she says, no, ma'am. He was well known for throwing plates. <laughs> Cut. Stick to the path. You got this. You got this. And I'm initially like, all right. I love presidential history. I love hearing about the, the secret lives of presidents. President Lincoln uh, uh, wrestled uh, a bear. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 LBJ liked to swim nude. Nixon liked Big to dong. talk to portraits yep. uh, uh, by himself. Uh, 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 JFK bought all the Cuban cigars in D.C. right before he put in the embargo. There's a <laughs> lot of fun things that presidents have done. The first habitual plate-throwing president is something that I cannot ignore. Just and then the piece de resistance, the final moment, is that not only is he known for throwing plates, he's also known for taking the tablecloth when he's really angry and throwing all the shit off the table. That's a known <laughs> thing, according to this lady, that President Trump... <laughs> used to do so much so that he had a reputation for throwing all this shit off the table. All the Diet Cokes, all the, all the McDonald's, buckets, hamburger, like, yeah. Uh, also, also, upon hearing this, my first thought was, no, 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 that's not how it works. You have to snap it down, and then all of the cutlery <laughs> stays there. <laughs> and meanwhile, all I'm thinking this entire time is how fast can net pay Tim Robinson from I think you should leave <laughs> to reenact all of this like 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 what's that 
Bill Barr, no! <laughs> Just plate after plate after plate after plate after plate against the window. Flipping, he's going into another room. It's preset with other dinners because they know he's going to be unsatiable for this. Oh, God. Anyway. Uh, by the way. Uh, politics. <laughs> it's important. Uh, <laughs> Meryl Barr in the chat is like, uh, by the way, plate throwing, very common in Hollywood. Not a joke. Well, uh, thanks, Meryl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, do we have another one? Or are we? That's where it. are we? Okay, good. Uh, I, I mean, I good. mean, ooh. Patreon.com slash great night is where you go. <laughs> Stop. Whoa. Yeah, hey. We figured it out. Woo. I'm chill. You're getting it this weekend, too. Uh, that's where you need to go if you want to get our bonus stuff. Again, a reminder. This uh, month. This month is a great time to be a patron because... Uh, I'm going out of the country, and that means that we have already pre-recorded a bunch of episodes that will go live for our bonus episodes. Mm -hmm. Our regular episodes will be the best of of our bonus episodes that people have been getting for over a year now. And who, boy, what a Saturday we had. Uh, we get loopier and loopier. You're going to hear it week after week. It's fantastic. It's good. And we've all been very good about not referencing the inside contents, but those belong to the there are characters. <laughs> there are characters that we are desperate to bring into. <laughs> Desperate to bring into the main show, but we can't. No, nope. until stop it, men. Stop it. You can't. <laughs> you can't Will. do it. You no, can't no, do no, it. No, no. You can't do it. Uh, uh, but the other big thing is, if you are local to Austin, local to Central Texas, Rooster Teeth Expo, Rooster Teeth Expo, baby. RTX. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, That's where dude. We're gonna uh, be back after a two-year hiatus. Uh, the biggest uh, fan convention for sci-fi anime stuff. Uh, Hey, Brett. Yes, Brian. Uh, 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 we, of course, have two shows on Sunday, but I'm going to be at the booth the entire time. You want to hang out with me? I would love to hang out with you. All right. Well, Maybe I can even get EK to come out and draw stuff. Oh, my God. Later. That would be incredible. Yeah. Where can people get tickets, Bryce? Uh, they can go to Great Night RTX uh, on uh, bit.ly. That's uh, not the right thing. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to know. Right, how about it. this? How about this? Uh, bit.ly slash great night rtx uh that is capital, capital g, g capital n capital r t x uh it is downtown uh, uh an amazing place to be in austin is inside and you will be able to be there <laughs> with the, uh, the entire weekend uh if you're only doing a one-day ticket then do it on sunday that is when the live uh scam nation show yep and yep. uh the live Great night show. Uh, just a quick update. Uh, looking on the chat where my wife is saying she said, hell yes, she'll be out there. Oh, maybe, hell yeah. Maybe we can make her make her do some uh, some fan uh, pictures of uh, Brian and Justin <sighs> doing things. I, I, uh, okay, uh, I, I would pay I would pay her just to write a review negatively about Corey. <laughs> 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 that could be a race. She was there. She, she, was, she there. was. She was. Like, Brian, My content was amazing. Yeah. Bit sloppy on the logistics, though. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Patreon.com slash great night. And uh, come on out to RTX this weekend. Bryce, do we have a game? Uh, we do. It's one of our favorites. Say it with me. It's called Apologize for. Apologize for. By the way, I did not know when we invented this game that it was going to become like a cultural gestalt moment. Can we not play the song anymore? I, uh, no, I just haven't. I, I fuck. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm I'm fucking everything I, up today. No, Every, stop, everything's no, loaded no, up. With, I was with, gonna sing the song and myself because it's I'll in tell my you brain. Yeah, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, the the bear the BFBs the Barefoot Boys. If if we could have our sounds, uh, we oh, we shit, wrote a you song. went you went Capri's. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here, hold on. Okay. Hold here on. we go. <clears throat> Get in there. That's not the. Oh, God yeah. damn it. Okay, yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. Making mistakes. My heart aches. <laughs> Probably should have been running them drugs. <laughs> drugs. Drug. by drugs. But I don't obey the law. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feet for claws. <laughs> My name's the manimal. I don't. I only answer to God. 
<laughs> Some people claim that we should obey the law. But I know <laughs> this is not the time for the chorus. <laughs> And that's something that you should be apologizing for. Yay! Oh, yeah. You brought it home. You brought it's it home. Apologizing that was good. For. <laughs> oh my God! Pippi's here. That's right, Brian. A dog is here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a what way! What a way! I, a way. <laughs> I fucking I fucking love you. But an intentional way to sabotage the show, knowing your husband's ADD, <laughs> is to bring a dog and sit in the back row. <laughs> EK is gonna be so upset that she oh, can't have that uh, dog right there. Poor Pippi. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yes, it's uh, apologizes for. We've gone through and found some news uh, headlines where people have apologized for something that they've done. We've made some blanks in the headlines. You're going to guess what the blanks are. Whoever's closest is going to get a point. Brett, do you mind keeping score for me? I do not mind at all. Uh, you, you know what? This feels like something we can uh, widen the circle on. We can oh. have. Uh, can we do three players? We absolutely can do that. Who? But who would we even do that way? Ladies and gentlemen, the host of the brand new podcast, We're Not Wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Andrew Heaton. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. it's so Corey, good. Corey, uh, all, all is, so, oh, is forgiven. Thank you. <laughs> all is forgiven, Corey. <laughs> this is... <laughs> You're the best. Five out of five. Chef's kiss to the end. We, we gave him the Bigfoot spec on that mic. Yeah, <laughs> for audio listeners, it came, he, 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 he came out to a nine cool. foot mic. What I love is, it's very symmetrical, though. Uh, hello, everybody. Hi, Andrew. How's it going? Oh. I'm very well. How are you, Bryce? <laughs> I'm doing good. Are you comfortable? You need, you need a minute? <laughs> uh, uh, so this is the game where uh, we've got some headlines here. i got some blanks here. You're going to give me a guess, and whoever's close gets it. we got our first one here. Justin, we're going to start with you. Hell yeah. This is from Bleacher Report. Oh, the fucking gray lady. It's the, it's the, the paper of record when it comes to uh, lightened assholes. That's right. Uh, ma- the the headline. The bleacher Mar- report. The bleacher. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Uh, people I got bleach it their assholes. I got it. Yeah. I got right. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's an Not, anal pun. It's a, <laughs> yeah. Somebody <laughs> laughed immediately. I mean, you do sit on bleachers, like even in the context that they're referring. Yeah. To. Right. I guess you would sit on some conceptual level of Potsy. bleaching applicator for your asshole. <laughs> Bryce, what's the <laughs> what's the our clue? first headline from Bleacher Report? Mariners Jesse Winker apologizes for <laughs> blank 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 after brawl with Angels. Mariners Jesse Winker apologizes for blank 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 after brawl with Angels. Justin, we're starting with remember you. this is about bleached assholes. Go ahead. I from Bleacher think Report. I might know this. Okay, well, what did he apologize for? Thrown water cooler. Thrown water cooler, Justin says. All right. Uh, Andrew, what about you? Mariners' Jesse Winker apologizes for blank, blank, blank after Brawl with Angels. So it's a baseball thing. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, you know, in fact, I, for- I forgot that I have information. I can even share information. With oh, what the fuck? The- Great. I'd like some information, please. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Seattle Mariners' left fielder Jesse Winker said to, his re- said to reporters, the only thing I'm going to apologize for is blank, the blank, blank. Got it. That's it. Besmirching the other team's gal. <laughs> Besmirching the other team. I think it might be a few too many blanks, but let's go with it. Okay, there we go. And, and also, by the way, if, if none of us are close, can we make it a rule throughout this entire game that the smirking face of Corey <laughs> on one of our monitors just... Oh, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> just, like, just, just flashes. If yeah. I did it. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just, if none of us are even close, like, gotcha. obviously, someone's got to have to get a point, oh. but you can just go ahead and throw that up. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, we'll do that. Uh, Brian. Too good. Now he's, 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 he's even winning. Devil Corey right, is. I mean, right. like, uh, okay. He was a real piece of shit for that move. No, but like, but that's a handsome devil. He made up for it. He made he made Andrew a very why tall person you, feel why? small. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is this is a cycle of abuse. This is honest. a cycle of abuse. <laughs> no, 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 no. He I, I, he he just gets this way sometimes. Right? <laughs> no. Yeah. The Mariners' Jesse Winker apologizes for blank. I just blank, fell down blank. the stairs. That's how I got these all three right, stars. All right. After brawl with angels. <laughs> uh, after blank blank. Uh, Sorry. For a blank, blank, blank after brawl with angels. Writing that review. For writing. 
Nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> like a Yelp review? Uh, he was on a Yelp for the game. <laughs> <laughs> Shithead picture buzzed no, me. Like Three out of five stars. Eye First eye of all, you know what, Corey was I great. Corey was great. <laughs> okay. That's right. All right. Uh, we've got your answers here. Uh, Justin said, for the throne water coolers. Andrew said, for besmirching the other team's gal. Yeah. G-A-L. And uh, Brian said, for writing that review. Uh, the headline that we were looking for was... Mariners Jesse Winker apologizes for... Flipping off fans. Oh, oh what a harsh oh, review he I, gave so them. So he was he was giving a a poor signal to someone emotionally associated with the team. Uh, no, no, he uh, he caused a big a big old fight, and uh, he was not uh, sorry for it, except for flipping off the fans because they did not deserve that. Were any of the fans banging the baseball team? Because <laughs> <laughs> if so, I believe I won. <laughs> Uh, we'll leave it to science. Statistically, at least one person in the stands was begging somebody on the other team. You gotta give me that. Uh, ch- yes, you know what? You're right about that. At I, least. Wait! The- whoa! Whoa! But, and also, you did get it. Like, get it right when I picked the answer a few minutes ago. Hey, that's Andrew Point. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Boo! Boo! Good job, Corey. Good job, Corey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let's go, Corey. <laughs> All right, round two on this one. We're going to start with you, Andrew. Okay. All right. Uh, this is uh, this one here. Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson apologize for cringy blank pronunciation no. from our friends at Complex. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. Uh, Kevin Hart and, and Woody Harrelson. Do it in an accent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Kevin Hart, Woody Harrelson accents, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the classic. Play both of them. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you were to do both sides of a of a scene between them, how would it sound? Yeah. Hey, Sam, it's me, uh, the guy from Cheers <laughs> behind the bar. That's that's good that's, so that's, far. That one's Kevin Hart. Yep, yep. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the the other, I can't do a Woody Harrelson. Wait, wait, is, there, <laughs> is there any is there any information that we can request on this? Oh, that's right. We do have some information here. I forgot that. That's Damn it! A bit in the game. Uh, in an I interview- haven't liked you since you went to law school, Eden. <laughs> <laughs> In an interview with the Ottawa Sun, Hart said, quote, He's a world-renowned hitman, and the legend of his killings has grown over the years and throughout his career. So, you gotta think, everyone was pronouncing it that way. Pronouns. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Are you just reminding him? (laughs) Justin Trudeau? Yes. They apologize for the cringy Justin Trudeau pronunciation. Okay. He because he's an international hitman. Yeah, I know. Well, because no, he was in Canada. They were talking to the yeah. what, the Ottawa Herald, the the Journal of Record in Ottawa. With the Ottawa Sun, but yeah, yep. uh, and, and, that's, that's a piece of shit. But the Ottawa Herald's a great, great publication. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I, 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 and also, Heaton wants to make sure he never is missing out on a ride from a flatbed truck in Canada again. <laughs> so it's a notorious hitman from Canada. Uh, the quote that uh, Your only said, killer. He's a world-renowned hitman, and the legend of his killings has grown over the years and throughout his career. So you gotta think everyone was pronouncing it that way. Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson apologize for cringy blank pronunciation. Brian, it's your turn. Uh, <clears throat> could you use it in a sentence? <laughs> Yeah, the question in this game of apologizes for is Kevin Hart apologized for a cringy blank pronunciation. God damn it. Uh, um, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, Sasquatch. Mm. Sasquatch. Okay, the Canadians take that real good answer. serious. Good answer. Yep. Yep. Good answer. Yep. Good. Yep. Good. Yep. good. Justin Queen. Kevin Hart and Wendy Hill. So, uh, mass murderer. Yep. Cringy pronunciation of the Everyone name. Everyone probably said it that way. Hmm. Mm. Booty. Mm. Gooch. Hitlier. <laughs> oh, a lady hitman. Uh, oh, I'm spelling it out now and I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> <a bit>. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers at home, I might recommend a pad and paper for that joke. <laughs> yeah, a, yeah they, they, this is what I call a write it out joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's an expansion pack. All right. So uh, Justin said Hitlier. <laughs> Andrew said Justin Trudeau. Yep. And Brian said Sasquatch. <laughs> we are looking for. Four. Come on, sassy. Apologize for the Toronto pronunciation. What? Apparently they say Toronto really fucked up in their show where they're cops in Toronto. And then they called the city a mass murderer? 
Wait, let me ask you a follow-up question. There, his character, I guess, one of the characters. Do we acknowledge him. that Justin Trudeau was banging somebody in Toronto? Because if <laughs> that's it. the case, I get that one, too. How, how, how did they say it? Probably Toronto. That's right. They, yeah, they, no, yeah, yeah. they say Toronto. Cause, cause they, they say Toronto. 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 Oh, Toronto. That, Toronto. That, that, the second T is not. Oh, got really... it. And the character is a mass murderer, so he would probably. And love somebody, it. yeah, because mass it. murderers don't uh, fucking speak well. Yep. <laughs> Does the injustice ever fucking yeah. cease? Yep. Okay. Game. All right. <laughs> so uh, that's a point for me, right? That is a point for Brian. <laughs> yeah, actually, See, I could do it too. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> That joke didn't uh, get but the I bet just you know, oh, somebody in Toronto. I believe you. Yeah. Hitlier is very funny. Hitlier is fucking so much funnier than anybody <laughs> in this room gave me credit for. Listen, I'm <laughs> fucking judging all of you. <laughs> We're gonna start with Brian on this one. Ready? Uh, this is from our friends at Loudwire. Liquid Death apologize after joke about nuclear blast blank backfires. I I I I I I would like. Context. Oh, yes, I've got some information here. Uh, Liquid Death founder Mike Cesario said in an, an apology post, We seriously apologize, man, for what you had to deal with. Again, your art is not the issue at all. Oh. Liquid Death apologizes after a joke about nuclear blast blank backfires. Banksy. The Banksy. Yeah. The Banksy. It backfired. The Banksy nuclear blast. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, Justin. Uh, liquid death apologize after joke about nuclear blast blank backfire. I mean, there's only been a few of them, right? <laughs> Not exactly like they happen every we, two we, weeks. We, we would have read about it. Yeah. If we'd gone off in, in Toronto or something, we would have we yeah. read that. Yeah, if I was reading it in the uh, what, Toronto Herald. What, what do you think the joke w that backfired that this sparkling water slash ripoff of uh, White Claw made? Well, no, it's, it's just like it's it's water in like cool marketing. It's, it's not like even a whole alcoholic. thing. Well, I guess it's called liquid death. Is, that, is liquid death a water brand? Yeah, it's yes, water, it but is. also a a, a, a no. alcohol. No, uh, I think no. it used to be. I, yeah. well, no, no. it yeah. might have been an older brand. The one today, I think, only does water. Mm. That I think that that's their whole thing know. is making it cool to drink water. It's cool to drink water. Uh, that's why they call it such drinks. a metal name. Hip exactly. Because yeah. it's water. It, 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 now it, I get it. it. And so it comes in tall boys. Yeah. and it has like a melting face on it. Don't approve shit like that. Okay. Uh, uh, well, Brian said Banksy for the Banksy. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't read my hand. Noted, right. uh, Just noted nuclear <laughs> explosion <laughs> Banksy. Justin, liquid death apologize after joke about nuclear blast. Blank. I mean, there's really virus. like, well, I can go with one and you can go with the other. <laughs> we can just split the difference. Okay. I'll take the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lead. <laughs> so uh uh I'll go ahead and say Hiroshima. Okay. Justin says Hiroshima, Andrew. I I'm going to go a bit more pedestrian. I think it's like either a burp or a fart. Uh actually, can I change mine uh uh, uh bikini at all? You can't. Oh. I'm I this is, in my mind this is what I'm Banksy. thinking. I'm thinking he, they said burp or fart, something like that. But say burp, right? And there's some guy with a chronic burping condition they found out about. And they're like, oh, we didn't mean to pick on you. And they were making fun of burping. Like, you're, you're, you're going to drink so much liquid death, you have a, a nuclear blast of burping. The, uh, Where does the art come in? Was the, what was the bit about the art? <laughs> they were apologizing, but this wasn't about your art, man. Oh, I don't know. It's <laughs> Final answer. You, I don't know. I only asked you because you were so confident in building your world. I just wanted to know where that this final artist, puzzle piece. This fit. artist kept burping. See? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. The art. They, they wanted to burping. clarify <laughs> that the art was not self-indulgent at awful. It was good art made yeah. by a good artist. It was a performance artist. That's right. Yeah. Burping the, and farting. Yep. Nuclear style. Yep. I can't quite tell if we think the burping and farting is good or not. Uh, do uh, we've given our answers, Your Honor? That's right. Okay. <laughs> I think we've made ourselves uh, very no, no, clear. Bank. Rest. <laughs> <laughs> so, so imagine you walk in and your your job was to guess what the question was, and the answers were Hiroshima, <laughs> burping and farting, and Banksy. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be solid. Um, all right. Well, yeah, those were the answers. What we were looking for. 
Liquid Death apologizes for a joke about nuclear blast logo backfires. A nuclear blast logo. So what, yeah, uh, what was the joke? Well, so Nuclear Blast is a, a, a record company uh, who just unveiled this new logo of a melting skull. Okay. And uh, the creator of Liquid Death says, hey, that's also, we have a liquid skull, and our lawyers told you not Wait, to Wait, so it's just copyright infringement? It wasn't even offensive? Right, yeah. I really thought we were going to get a payoff from somebody that had gone through something horrible for our amusement. There's nothing going on there? It's just copyright? No, there's nothing in the news They're about not geothermal. All good, Heaton. <laughs> Nuclear They're not all good apologies. Some of them are bullshit apologies. I think... I, if you read the story, I think I think he was in the right, but that's that's just the which opinion. one? Uh, the guy who apologized. I think he I think apologizing to the artist is right. The company can fuck off. But if that <laughs> artist banged that bass, all concert, right, all right. <laughs> next one, next one, next, next one, one. Yeah. right? Uh, or Justin Trudeau. Or Justin Trudeau. Yeah, that's true. If yeah, if if if, if they poured liquid death over the steaming adulterous bodies of both Justin Trudeau <laughs> and one of those baseball players. Uh, and that's going to be an Andrew Poy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really nice sucking surprise. shit here, boys. Right. This is uh, this is a real, uh, it's a real fuckeroonie for your old boy Jerbs. Uh, what is the score? Uh, good job, Corey. Well, for me, the score, Justin is right. He does suck shit at this game right now because he has no point. <sighs> the Brian old gooser. has one point. Good yep. job, Corey. And Andrew, <laughs> you have two points. Yeah! yeah! I earned them both. Yes. Oh, my God. Did he replace the belt on the stage, Corey? <laughs> oh, my God. He replaced it with his own ping pong belt. All right. All right. All right. Unbelievable. All right. Th all right. Thank you, Corey. Uh, That's not even a thing. Most people listen to us on podcasts. <laughs> That's why he knows. He knows it will mess with me, and then I'll mess up the podcast for him. Uh, no, it's okay. okay. Uh, we're gonna start. Corey's with reign of terror, <laughs> Justin. We're gonna start with you on this one. I thought we were making a profitable living for you so you can sell our wiki feet. Uh, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What's okay? Uh, Justin, yeah, uh, from insurancebusinessmag.com, insurance agency employee apologizes for racist blank sign. Mm. Insurance agency employee apologizes for racist. Blank sign. Racist blank sign. All right, so if you're, I'm, all right, I'm an insurance agency employee. All right, all right. Oh, hey, I'm buddy. coming in. Uh, those, uh, somebody might have a bad thing happen to them, and we need to make a profit if it doesn't. Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I got to make sure that I get these signs up. Okay. So they can uh, all listen. know about uh, whether or not they want to get a policy. Whatever you do, make sure it's culturally sensitive. Okay. You know about the last one. Get out of here. Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you okay? I'm just are you having a stroke? Or? <laughs> I'm just running through all the last names I can think of. Uh-huh. What was the one you came up with? <laughs> Jones. <laughs> wow, really? Okay. Jones wow. on camera, huh? Well, uh, yeah. Sure. That's because that's the thing that always happens when an employee <laughs> leaves an office is the boss says their last name. That's right. That was the only way out of that moment. <laughs> click, cling, cling. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm Hello, walking. I'm a racist, and I'd like to buy insurance from your company. May I enter your abode? The sign says I can enter. Is he a vampire? Why is he asking if the sign says... Okay. Um, uh, uh, Justin, uh, we're starting. Listen with. up, Jones. <laughs> you better make that sale. Let him in. What? By the way... Wait, what I thought story? I left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, apparently, apparently racists are also you. deficient in scene work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That's what by I the, heard about them. By, by the way, what, thing what, heard. what did you write on that sign, Jones? Well, I... I, I <laughs> Well, it, really, it's what sign it was is really what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm more I'm trying to figure what you wrote, though. <laughs> I'm sure you are. We can have... Uh, Science uh, knows that information, but that needs to happen after the question. All right, all right. here we go. Yeah, I, I wrote, I wrote, enter with a hard R. <laughs> the racist enter sign. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Andrew Heaton, an insurance agency employee, apologized for a racist blank sign. What was it? I think, given the timing of this... Wait, hold on. Nope. Okay, given the timing, I think Juneteenth. It's something to do with Juneteenth. Okay. 
Okay, you're gonna say June. Go back in time. Go oh, back in time. look right. at old Try Hard Eating here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got look at her actually culturally sensitive moment. Okay, okay, for when okay. Somebody like, could uh, fall listen up, Heaton. You haven't made a sale yet. You know Jones is our star seller. Right. We're gonna need a sign for you. Here's what I did. I got a bunch of racial stereotypes together for Great. this particular holiday. Okay. We're gonna use it to sell insurance. Okay, it that's good. It couldn't possibly be offensive. Yep. Uh, you named some of these racial stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> To make sure uh, I got them. I'll tell you if they're on the side or not. Okay, I'll tell yeah. you. Uh, um, um, Leo's, Start with Jews. Uh, <laughs> Leo's be driving like this. That's yeah, not that's, a race. We got that's that not a race. Side, yeah. Stop Cap pussyfooting. Be driving yeah, like yeah, yeah, we this. got that on the side, Stop too. Stop that Hurry. hippie shit. We don't like that hippie shit. Uh, Do real races. <laughs> Do real races. Okay. Ju Judas be driving like this. Uh, Counts as a Jew. Oh, uh, God damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. Got it. We did it, Justin. Hey! No, we did it. We figured it out, Brian. You're both fired. <laughs> Brian, an insurance agency employee, apologized for a racist... Hand sign. Hand sign. A hand sign? Yeah, dude. <laughs> what, was, what was that? Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh right. Yep. Because for a while, like, oh, I'm not going to do oh. that. Oh. <laughs> okay. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, you'd make this A OK OK sign, and it meant that it was all good, and it was immaterial whether but you, you were racist you don't, you don't, or you don't, not. You don't, you don't have the, you don't have the, you, you're not. Gonna, I don't know what the rules are anymore. Gonna, it's yeah, fine. Uh, it's he, fine. You ever see one of these? And oh, the, and that I just did it. Now I have to punch him because <laughs> yeah. he did it. Yeah. Lug bug. Circle you, game. You circle game is circle good. Game. It was I think fun. circle game. You can still do the circle. Ryan used to now. just beat yeah. me mercilessly in my childhood. He was ten years older. It was horrible. All right, we're we've the got same your age now though. We've got your answers here. <laughs> Justin said for the racist enter sign. Andrew Hett said for the racist Juneteenth sign, and Brian said for the racist hand That's sign. Good hand sign is pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna win. Where's my air horn? Oh my god! Okay. Wow. Just play Margaritaville. <laughs> That's all there is to it. One of you is exactly correct. Oh. oh. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> your answer of hand is <laughs> loser. Lo 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 loser. Incorrect. <sighs> Andrew Heaton, your answer of Juneteenth is. That's oh, right. Juneteenth. Oh, you, got it. you got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Oh, he's about to slip it. This don't is not. Oh, this, right, right. this studio is not built for that bit. <laughs> oh, okay. right, no, it's good. It's good. It's there good. I'm so happy I didn't hey, man. hurt myself. How, how are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. Just, just I, give I, me a I hand side of how you're feeling. <laughs> good. Oh, damn it! All right, I thought I got him. Wow, I don't. I, that's fucked up. You do that. <laughs> uh, the, right. the fucked up for the audio audience that he made that hand sign. <laughs> for the <laughs> audio only audience, I would like to apologize. You I'm can only to apologize. Do that, Andrew Eaton made stop. that stop. hand stop. sign. Stop. What did it say? What did it say? The o 16th sign. The office closure sign. My God. The office closure And in sign. June, he made that <laughs> hand sign. Just disgusting. Yeah. The office closure sign said, uh, it's whatever, and called on people to enjoy your fried chicken and collard greens. Oh. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bad. that's what little John said. Uh, I'll stay. Brian, you remember that game we did where you them. rattled off <laughs> those <laughs> and other stereotypes? Uh, I, I don't remember winning that game. Oh, right. yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I think Andrew got that point on that one. Do you want to know what? Racist. Racist. I agree. Hot yeah. take. I agree. Yep. Yeah, you should have apologized. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to file Next that one under R for, ice. for racist. This is our last question. Brett, what is our score fucked going up. in the last round? Our score right now Super fucked up. Andrew is obviously trying to win the game. <laughs> with that's that's uh, how it's points. funniest. Brian has one point. Justin, I do believe the the word is bupkis. You want to know what? It's called it's pronounced Zen. Toronto. It's called Zen. Zen. I, 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 have, I, have, I have nothing Wait, to lose. I have again. nothing we, to gain. What does zero go. look like? Show us what zero looks like. There we go. Justin, stop. You can't do that sign. Oh, Justin, I would like to apologize. No, on I'm behalf sorry. Of, yeah. We need to cut, cut, fade to black. Fade to black. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're uh, controlling it. <laughs> no, I don't think that's right. I think someone else does that. <laughs> Last round here. This is for... That uh, was Bryce calling to his inner monologue. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be for five points. Five, five, five points. So, so anybody's game. Justin, we're going to start with you since you're in the back of the pack. 
Mm -hmm. from our friends at time.com. Mm -hmm. What workplace leaders can learn from blanks apology <laughs> from our friends at time.com. What workplace leaders can learn from blanks apology. Famous apology, huh? Probably an apology that happened recently. <sighs> I, th I think it's a company. You think it's a company? Yeah. What kind of company? Uh, Bailey Bieber? Yep. They make great cars. <laughs> <laughs> my my grandfather, 30 years at Haley Bieber <laughs> on the stamp line. No, uh, <laughs> That's when this town used to be something. I, I don't remember enough of that monologue. <laughs> what monologue? Oh, I thought you were doing the Pulp Fiction 30 years of this uncomfortable hunk of metal up oh my ass. no yeah. no oh, okay i was doing a more like eight mile like uh like detroit thing yeah anyway give me the answer uh, no like, what workplace leaders can learn from blinks apology wait, 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 can we record uh, oh, oh, oh give, me, information? give me information give me information yep. oh of course you need some information here we go in an apology post quote this is the result of me listening and taking action <laughs> fuck fuck what workplace leaders can learn from blank Fuck! technology? Who the god damn it? That's everyone. There's no identifying. Like if it was like, oh, like just like <clears throat> I, I'll, I'll Ugh, snip, I'll snip me, out Bob these Dylan. problems like uh, I did with my scissor hands. I would know it was Johnny Depp. <laughs> but like, but it's not. Fuck. Well, I don't Say really, it again. It's all ring to do. It's me, Paul McCartney. This no. is the result of me listening. <laughs> What does he ever apologize for? I apologize for for uh, uh, killing John Lennon. <laughs> oh no, that would have been a plot. Oh, we, we read that goddamn kill. book, didn't we? We sure <laughs> did. Yep. That's Paul McCartney. Yeah, all of a sudden we we, we mix up the letters in Sirhan Sirhan, <laughs> Sir Paul McCartney. <laughs> oh, OJ OJ Simpson posts what? a selfie of himself reading. If I did it, it says he just tweets doing the work. <laughs> Rise and grind. Get that bag. Oh, OJ Ryan. Simpson and the, <laughs> and the Rise and Grind influencer. Is Ry an Rise and Grind OJ Simpson has Brian weak in the knees right now. <laughs> he is falling down with laughter. Can't, you know what goes great with juice? Bread. That's what they call money. <laughs> the kids call it's, money. It's bread. funnier. You want to know what? Now you know how I felt with Hit Lay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Justin. Fuck! <laughs> What Fuck! Like, say it again. Say the thing, and I'm, I'm just gonna say the first thing that comes to my mind. Well, what's the information? Sure. Uh, in an apology post, this is a result of me listening and taking action. What? James work? Franco. James Franco. Mm. All right, he's gonna say James Franco. What did he do? Yeah. Uh. Oh, I don't know. He was a creep, right? Wasn't he? Yeah. All right, he's just. This is gonna say he was a creep. A creep. I'm yep. gonna put that down on the record forever. Not his brother Dave. Nope. Not nope. a creep. No. James, creep show. And okay. Andrew. I'm, I'm gonna is wait is Tim Cook the head of Apple? Yep. I'm gonna go with Tim Cook. Yep. Are you gonna say Tim Cook's apology? Yeah. Yep. And he, I don't know. He parked his car in the lobby or something. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, all y'all are dumb. It's a company. Uh, it's a. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Diamond Vista Retirement Resorts. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's the smart answer, guys. Yeah. Good answer. We're Good so answer. Sorry that we Good brought answer. the Barefoot yeah. Boys to, to Austin. Nice. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> mistake as it turns out. Yes. Come see us at RTX. What workplace leaders could learn from Blanks of Can we do the Barefoot Boys at RTX? <laughs> <laughs> can we open? Anyway, we could get Mike to play. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll wear big old hats and throw yeah. out lays and. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 no, it's great, it's great, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, stepped on a. You, uh, pop wait, top, could you blew theoretically, up, right? Could, yeah. Could you theoretically glue tap taps to your to the insoles of your feet for like yeah. a day? Yeah. Could you could you tap live dance. the dream of tap dance barefoot? Uh, well, uh, we'll find out at this Rooster okay. Teeth Expo. Mm -hmm. Right. slash great night. Definitely gonna happen. Definitely gonna happen. Don't not hold us to that. All right, your answers were <laughs> James Franco, Tim Cook, and. The Diamond Vista <laughs> retirement thing. Sure. The resort. That one's not going to do it. Mine's a company. That one's not going to. Uh, Brian, your answer is. The bum, bum, bum. No. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. All, right. All right. Sorry. All right. All right. Justin, your answer of James Franco. I have to put it into the answer hole, actually. Uh oh. And this is just, that's just how it works. And your answer is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Maybe it's a good bomb. Come through, come through, come through. Hey! Oh, you did it! Good job! Oh, shit! Wait, 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 wait. Lizzo! What workplace leaders can learn from Lizzo's oh, apology? Oh, it was a bad yeah. bomb. No, she used the uh, the R word, right? No, she... Um, in her, uh, oh, no, she no, said, no, no, she no, said, no, it was the uh, other spaz, one. She yeah. said spaz, spaz, which is... Now you both have to apologize. Yeah. Uh, we, let me ex- it's, it, we don't like it anywhere because it's from spastic, which is a way to describe people who have cerebral palsy, uh, okay. and it's not great okay. when you say spaz. So, okay. uh, she re- so you have okay. to apologize again. I'm, Christ, I'm Jesus. very sorry. Jesus. Uh, yeah. I'm going to edit Lizzo's song to get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, and that's what, that's what the story was about. She actually put out a new version of that song in like three days. Yeah, where she uh, mentioned uh, cutting off genitals more because that's okay. All right, Rush. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> we'll be back after this. <laughs> Certainly. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yes, if you've got an idea for a game, please send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. We might play it on uh, this portion of the show, which it will just was. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> going to third act. <laughs> it, it, Hoping it doesn't last long. <laughs> but we've got an hour and a half more of this. Because <laughs> I know what's coming. A uh, no Brian video. <laughs> That he's hid from me for all these years. <laughs> Some people say that <laughs> there's a core to blame. Good job, and they're right. Three out of yeah. five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, uh, at the Brian event over the weekend, which again, go to uh, scamstuff.com and type in class if you want to be on the waiting list for it. There's another few coming up this year, but one of the things that was seen, I had never seen, and I have been friends with Brian for over a decade. Uh, I feel like we have shared almost every embarrassing story and shred Brett, can of, we our, trade of places our, for this. Uh, you, you, you can help give context on everything and I'll sit over you, there. You want me to, to come up this show? Oh, yeah. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Come on up. Come on up. Brett come on Weaver. Up. Brett Weaver coming to the stage. Uh, there was a video that was played oh. that I I feel like we just need to start and we will just pause it as we go whenever any of us here on the panel need to pause. Okay. Uh, we can pause. There is no context given. We are just going to play the video. No. We're just going to play the video. No. Yeah. We're just going to play the video. Yeah. And the video begins right now. Why it's a film by Quan Tran. Mm. Uh! Mm. Bizarre Magic by Brian Brushwood. Bizarre Magic. It's a mix of old sideshow stunts. What the fuck is happening? Traditional magic comedy. Yes. Do you guys also want to punch Brian? I'm just glad to know that uh, that uh, <laughs> finally Ryu is gets to hang out with Guile uh, since you know that haircut. That's I I'm haircut actually right thrilled there. that this was so young into Brian's career that his head grew into the hair. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's exactly the same length as it is now. Because because in this video, his head is so small his his neck is so long like like his his head is the exact shape for audio listeners as an aspirin <laughs> like it is just oblong and white mm. <laughs> you're you're not wrong walter <laughs> <laughs> all right continue with the video a lot of times people ask what i'm what i'm doing and or what i do for a living God and I'll tell christ them. i can't and i can't even form a sentence a lot of times it's almost as though people hit a mental oh, block God. i'm oh. describing what's happening I might all right fun. pause pause it here oh. brian i need to go to you i need to go to you mm, because do, uh, you? To fill, to fill in context this was a documentary that was made by at at, at the time a film student now a professional uh, uh in in video but uh, he asked if he could follow you around and make a little mini documentary of you doing a a show. Uh, you watching yourself at this stage in your career now. Number one, what stage 
were you at in your career and what are your what are your emotions? Uh, I, I had quit my job, I believe, six months before. Uh, oh, Jesus and, and this, Christ. This, <laughs> this filmmaker uh, is an undergraduate friend of mine who is editing for the very first time and needs to uh, the assignment was do a documentary. And so he's like, hey, can I follow you as you do a show? And I'm like, yeah, Oh, that's nice. It's yeah. actually nice. Yeah, that's great. I'm nice. not seeing a downside. Nice. What a nice thing. Bryce, continue. Continue. Fire <laughs> or break a 30 pound concrete brick over my head, hammer a four and a half inch nail oh, up God. my nose, there it is. stick a small nail into one eye, pop it out the other eye. I, I can't. I, I, I don't know if I could be in the room for this. Really oh, I, I, so, so, what is, what is like, getting at you the most? Oh, well, what is getting at you the most? Fucking hearing my own voice and my inability to do or say anything interesting. Is, is it the run on sentences? Or, or the overconfidence. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the, the sort of. What an asshole. <laughs> what the fuck? And I know, we're just kind of like. Oh. I, I Corey, was say... Did Corey make this bit? <laughs> <laughs> Corey, did you write this bit? <laughs> just at least skip to the part where my Tercel shows up. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, there it is. There, uh, All right. Yeah, skip to it by playing the rest of the interview. <laughs> I didn't have to skip very far. <laughs> oh, he look at that. really gets into that car. That's right. <laughs> He's really, really getting in that car. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bryce, play the whole thing, and then we'll go back and, and break yes. it down. Oh, sure. my God. Brian walking to get his Toyota Tercel. Just, just get in the just get Getting in, the car. in at nine get different in angles. Sex mobile. I like to think that all of those were bloopers that they just cut together. They're like, hey, we got something we can use in this. But what's amazing? All right, like, pause actually, it here. Uh, so, what the only thing I can describe to the audio listeners are if you've ever seen like an Edgar Wright movie where they're mm -hmm. like uh -huh. he's doing one of those shots where it's like Shaun of the Sh Dead, where we're like he's like 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 all like he's brushing his teeth and he's like like, like opening the door, grabbing the, the the toothbrush, brushing his teeth, slamming the uh, the, the the mirror. Imagine that style scene, but it's in, it's all the same shot over and over and over again. <laughs> so instead of it being different shots, it is just the exact same shot of him walking into the car and putting his Tercel in to drive. I, I will tell you that I worked a lot of high schools because of this VHS tape. That's fantastic. It was very effective. Oh, fuck you. Don't oh. be defensive. <laughs> Don't be defensive. Now it lives another life. Yes. It's content on your podcast. Absolutely. I'll tell you what. If you become a patron because you oh. enjoyed this particular segment, then please write, I'm a high school. <laughs> <laughs> I... I <laughs> Uh, yeah, I. Whoa! Bonnie is talking from off mic. way downtown. <laughs> Bonnie Brushwood off mic. Ask the question, Brian. Is that the sex mobile? Brian, you have a very important decision right now. Yes. Can you answer that question? And we don't watch any more of that video, or do we go back to the video? <laughs> Bryce, press play. <laughs> <laughs> And apparently the no, camera I'm broke. Look like I'm smelling farts. Yeah, uh, jumping ahead. Uh, <laughs> that is a nice looking that's, cafetorium that's right there. No, no, that, 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 no, that's a good, that's a good theater, and it's getting taken down right now. Oh no, no, no! The, 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 uh, uh, visually, I can only describe this as Guy Ritchie was very popular. Uh, yeah, or yeah. or twenty four was uh, about to come out. Oh, mm -hmm. there we go. Yeah, yeah, you know, the the multi frame split screen sort of thing going on. I'm, I'm going to say, imagine a young Edward Snowden took up magic at a high school. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> Corey, you're my favorite. <laughs> hey, good job, Corey. All right. Uh, 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 Brian, is there a moment in which you would like us to skip to, or would you rather like to slit all of our throats right now? <laughs> um, you know, you know, there's a moment. I haven't seen all of it. I've literally only seen up to this part. So you can tell us that there's good content or you can just bury it. I That's would fine. argue this Either is, way is good fine. content. Either way is fine. 
Um, oh, I know by his face that there's fucking better content. I don't, I, I don't know the time. Get to the sex scene. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know the time code, but but there's some kind of booty shaking moment that is like two minutes. Whoa, later. wait, hold on. Did you invent twerking? Because that would be an amazing. I, might, might be. Might he be. Did. No, you have to have an ass for that. There you go. Oh, there it is. God damn it. <laughs> oh, there it oh, is. He had it. Oh, and he zoomed. We're the zoom in. And he zoomed. The zoom Let's in. back up and see that again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you do got moves. <laughs> you got commitment. You That's do got sure. moves. This guy's okay. He's, he's one of us. So, uh, in. Dan Harmon's story circle, uh, eventually the hero gets what they want, but they pay a terrible price. Yes. Uh, unrelated. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. everybody give it up for Brian. Yeah. Thank you for being I, a good and, sport, and Brian. By the way, I, I, how long have we been friends? Uh, 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 I'm asking you because I don't remember. <laughs> uh, how from, long? Yeah, Brian. How long it, were you friends it, with it Justin? Was from 2008 to were. 2022. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, that was a 14 year friendship that just concluded. Everybody, <laughs> no, it, good it, job. It, it had job. taken it had taken that long two years to show that, that for me to see that clip that was shown in the first class that he did because that's how much Brian Baird is sold. If you want that kind of honesty and, and more specifically is insight into marketing and branding and execution, then please go ahead and sign up for that class. Yeah, too bad that the class is gone now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we learned? Hey, what did we learn, Brian? We learn? Uh, yeah, Brian. We learned that uh, Justin had five points. <laughs> <laughs> we learned how to say Toronto. Brian had one point, and Andrew had three points. Um, we learned that the Reign of Terror Award is no, going to No, that's correct. The next bit. Uh, we know that uh, you intend to make Brian a racist sign. Uh, Andrew and Justin are great in spinning plates and uh, hamburgers. <laughs> We did learn all you, those are, things. It's funnier when I said yeah, did, you, did, you, did yeah. you just literally burn yeah, like, just all of his shit for material. the after show? Uh, yeah, you know what I didn't do? Dig up 20 year old shit and rub it in his face. <laughs> I didn't do Found 20 year old shit you dug up <laughs> yeah. and rubbed it in your face. Fair enough. Uh, uh, yes. We learned that I am. Ashamed <laughs> of myself. Uh, we learned that Brian is a very, very good sport, not yes. only for dealing with Corey's pranks, but also for showing this. Let's give him one more round of applause. Yes. Oh. We learned that Andrew Heaton has a brand new podcast called We're Not Wrong with yes. myself and Jen Bryany. Uh -huh. yes. We've learned that uh, everyone is racist for making hand signals. Until next time, it's been a great night. Hands are racist. Hand Shine on your crazy hand diamonds. Sign. Diamonds. Great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>